YouTube, this is Tunapsat, my first video explaining a step-to-step -step tutorial on how to cartoon yourself. Now this is a new channel so I would kindly implore you all to subscribe to my channel and um, switch on notifications so you can be notified of my upcoming video tutorials. And now without wasting much of our time, let's get right into it. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to File, then your New in order to create a new template for your work. Since I use Instagram majorly, I work with um, a width of 180 pixels and a an height of 150 pixels. But if you are the type that likes the standard scale size, you can easily change the height to 180 pixels as well. Then this is the standard um, scale size for uploading on Instagram. But I like the 150 better. After you must have done that, you click on create. So once this artboard opens, the next thing you want to do is you want to place your picture, any picture that you want to use. You must have sourced this picture out from different sources. I use Pinterest majorly for my pictures because they got really quality pictures up there. So I would suggest you go there if you also need um, quality pictures to use as well, majorly for practice. So in order to bring in the picture, you go to your file, you go to file, and then you click on place check out where you have the picture stored on your system click on it so this is the picture i want to use and this is not the size i want so i need this picture to fill the whole artboard before you start um, increasing the size you need to click on the shift and then the alt key so that everything gets magnified at the same time you understand so make sure you click on your shift and then hold because if you don't do that it only magnifies a particular piece that you are zooming in on and not the whole picture and this is perfect so this thin line represents the boundaries of your artboard i don't want any other extra picture attachment so what i do is i crop the artboard out from the rest of the picture so you want to come to come over to crop image and then you are just accordingly just make sure the it rests on the boundaries and afterwards you click on and enter and once you do that then i i will go ahead and teach you the three different brushes i make use of i use um a graphics tablet so i make use of three different brushes for those that will make use of mouse you can make use of two different brushes for your at work so the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to pen tool or you use the p control on your keyboard and once you go that make sure this is black color make sure it is black and you click ok click it then increase the stroke to something like 5 and head over to the first arrow here, click the brush and then to the second arrow, click plus change this to art brush and ok and you want to change this to tint ok and then for the second brush, also head over to this arrow again and this is the second brush, the width profile 4 click on it, then to second, then you repeat the same step for this as well change this to tint okay now for those that use mouse you can definitely use these two brushes i created and then um, because there will be a time when i'll be drawing the outline for the outline you can either decide to use this brush or you use this this three point round some people have um, these as five point rounds you can use that as well but you just reduce the stroke when you pick it you understand so anyway you see me drawing outline is that you use this brush this three point round or you use the first brush i created here those making use of the graphics tablet you also need a brush called the calligraphic brush because that, that brush is sensitive to pressure on your graphics tablet so you want to head over to this change this to uniform then click on this the five point round or any um, point brush you have there so you want to head over to plus here then click on the calligraphic brush you want to change this to five points 
then remove this from feast to prayer you and change the variation to five as well then click ok so now this is a calligraphic brush so now in summary i make use of three different brushes i use a calligraphic brush i make use of this and in this let me delete the rest of the brushes here. These are the three brushes I make use of this, this, and the calligraphic brush. So after you must have created your brush, the next thing you want to do is you want to draw the outline. And before you draw outline, some people prefer reducing the opacity of the background image. And how do you go about that? You want to click on this particular image on the layer option. Just double click on it, it brings this out. And you want to dim images to 80% before I be. Click OK. So now it dims and it gives you a much clearer view of the edges of your picture. And once you've done that, you want to lock the image layer, create a new layer. Make sure this is on black. The first stroke is on black. And then just trace the edges of the picture. Now that I am done with the outline, the next step is to um, ensure the whole line that I have drawn, I make it as one. You understand? So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the layer tab and you want to duplicate this layer that you've worked on. Then lock the upper layer. Once you've locked the upper layer, 
screen then all you do is you alight the whole picture once you do that you head over to object then expand appearance they are done with that you want to head over to pathfinder for some that doesn't have this on their workbench you go to windows click on pathfinder here then you match the whole lines and what this means is if i click on any part of the picture every part of the image gets alighted and that means everything that is inside this line has been differentiated from all that is outside the line and that is the major aim of imagine the whole line together and then all the line gets to work as one okay now since i'm done with the outline the next thing i want to do now is to add the details to the hair and um, some other part of the face now the next thing you want to do is to add a new layer above the old layers here so move over to the plus sign here then you create new layer okay log these two layers and switch on the visibility of that so you come to eyedropper tool and then you pick a color from the air so you move over to the paint brush change this to and i told you about these two brushes so i'll start with this um, art brush to change this back to the other one make sure it's the same color with this to confirm that go back to your eyedropper tool and then pick the color again change it back to the other side so once we've done that and you're sure you are on this brush you reduce your opacity let's start with 30 okay and trace over it make sure you play around with the opacity and then the stroke so far it suits what you want exactly just play around with it till you get what you want So now since I want to work on um, the teddy, I would change the brush from this to the other one and when you do that as well, you need to play around with the stroke and then the opacity till you get exactly what you want.
now that we are done with the detailing the next step will be to add a um, color to the outline so that it start popping out more and then start looking like, like the portrait illustration it's supposed to be and and how to add details to the color will be well covered in the next video thank you for watching this is to Napsat. don't forget to subscribe and then hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when the next video comes up thank you very much